Hi everybody, this is Reverend Jenny. And Molly. We are here to show you a really cool craft that you can make while we are home during this time. It is called a triorama, and this is what it looks like. Now, in the Bible, Jesus talks about the temple where Jesus went to go to worship as a house of prayer. And we're not able to go to our church right now, and you can't go to our church right now, but we can have a house of prayer right where we are. And so a triorama is a way of making the things that we want to pray for and that we want to hold up to God to pray for. And so we're going to teach you how to make a triorama using things that you probably have at home right now. Molly, tell us what we need to make our triorama. First, you need a piece of paper. Okay. Next, you need scissors. Very important. Tape, also very important. Two extra pieces of paper and well, two two extra pieces two extra piece extra pieces of paper can be more than one if you want and color crayons mark crayons markers and color pencils can all work. Great. Sounds Step good. one. The first thing you do is take a piece of paper, fold one fold one end to the other so you have a triangle. So you put the corners together to make a triangle. Yes. Yeah. And here. Crease the bottom part. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make it as as well matched as possible. Great. So even though it doesn't line up exactly, it's just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's next? The next step is next step is taking your scissors. The parts that the parts that are sticking out that are not underneath other parts cut off. So you have what looks like two slices of pizza, in which I like to make that actual pizza by turning them into pizza. Nice. You can turn your extra paper into pizza. But what you have left... Then you flip it around to the other side and cut off another the pizza. Same and thing. cut off more pizza. Can't really even triangle. Great. Then you unfold it so it kind of... It's like an alligator mouth, kinda. You can open it and close it. Make sure you're right. Take the other ends in which you did not crease it and do the exact same thing except it's the opposite ends. This time so now we're folding it, will, it the it, other way. This time it will be easier uh, because you have already cut off your slices of pizza. And it's okay, all you don't want to need it. Then you have a kite. Taking your scissors again, cut down, take the bottom crease and cut and cut down the crease so that so that the two tri that the two triangles stuck together are no longer oh, stuck okay. together. Got and it. it's like it has legs. <laughs> but here's what you do. You color, you color this to be whatever you want. You color this side to be whatever you want. And you color one of the legs to be whatever you want. All right, let's take a break to color. You colored your, your triama. You take the colored leg and put it over the other end. And put it over the other leg. Got then, it. Then, triangle. Great. I mean, your, yeah, triangle. So, take your tape. Okay, use your tape. Now, we are out of regular scotch tape at our house, so we are using Lock electrical tape. tape which Wait, is... this is not electrical tape? Mm -hmm. That's all we have right now. What does it do? Am I thinking electrical? Oh, it also does dioramas, so. Cool. So, you're going to... So, you roll up the tape. Okay. And... Let me easy you can do this. Hold it like this. Stick this... And under and put this under, and if you want to, you can do another one. Sometimes you have to do a lot if you want it to be perfect, but nothing's perfect. So okay, another but, lesson for another time. But, okay. Beautiful oops. Put the tape where you want it, and then you can fold it back, and it's even because you already cut it. 
And then you have your maybe your it's a little bit like the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Blue sky, can, green earth. You can make your house. You can fill your triama with anything you want. In this case, earth. I'm gonna do. Uh, I did a uh, human. All right. And so you can fill it in with things you love, like your pets, your family, people holding hands, and. In this one, I did random background of people holding hands. It says, together we can do it, right? Which is a sign. Nice, okay. So, when you have what you want to go with your background, you when you fold some of it, but you have to draw your person not completely touching the bottom. So, you can fold some of it. Then put tape on the bottom of the fold, stick it where you want it, and then you have a triama. Great! So if, this is a way of holding things that we want to remember in prayer, like you said, our family, if, our pets, our friends. If you ever want to add something different, you can do different things, like a sign saying something motivational, or you can do lights if you're ever doing a theater thing. Or nice! Or something that shows God's love is surrounding us, right? 3D, you can make it 3D. All the way around. Mm -hmm. Cool! Well, Molly, it was really cool to learn how to make trioramas with you. So we're going to show you the final product again of this triorama. Here's and the one that, that we made before. And so we hope this is a really fun project for you to do at home. And we want to see pictures of your trioramas. So share with us if you have a chance to make one, what it is that you're praying for and what your house of prayer looks like. And remember that no matter where you are, that God's love is surrounding you. And we can't wait to see all the things that you are lifting up and that God is holding in God's hands in this time. All right. It was good to be with you. We'll see you next time.